Go ahead, tell them what we're doing there, amigo. Silent treatment, huh? What'd I do? What'd I do? Overloaded the trailer? I don't think so. Hustling my asphalt all day, you won't even do an intro. Alright guys, welcome. I'm going to do another firewood processor video for you. May or may not have ordered something else for the firewood end of things. So I got this decent load of pine. Uh, we left her work early so we could just unload it and put it straight through the Han on the front of the rake hill. This is the machine that the old uh, tree shear originally would have been on. We're going to go ahead and get started. Daylight shows um, 425. Oh, that was close. 429. Get to work. Just kidding. I don't really, I don't really boss, boss my employees around just like that. You know what you're doing? No way. Okay. Got these 16 feet long, that one's a 12. Got the four-way blade on there, do have an eight down here, but that's the bigger stuff. Once you get this thing warmed up, start hauling butt. Alright guys, we've been shut down for a couple minutes now, but I believe the last time I showed you the time was, what was that, 429? It is uh, quarter till 6 now. We didn't start immediately after I showed you the clock, so I'm going to call it an hour. That's uh, two cords, logs turned into split firewood, cut and split. 
Got two cords. About six feet tall pile here, spread out amongst enough area to make it two cords. Put your hand on that yeah. The Han firewood processor has been a little savage. I'd say it's about like 105 degrees, maybe more. Can't quite hold my hand on it. Oh, I'd say 140. No, I don't think I could hold my hand on 140. It's a lot cooler. Yeah. Um, We've showed this bad boy before. It's got a conveyor belt. That's like the the higher up model. Conveyor chain. And then it's got the really aggressive drive motor right there. It's got a high link. Got a stopping block. There is adjustable ones. You just take the whole block out. We got it set to uh, 16s. Yeah, we need to spray it with the uh, dirt bike lube. I'll hop in here and show you guys how this works best I can. It's in the back of my other truck. Yeah, I took it to the house. So, yeah, you got four buttons on each side. How the series works is you got the log in there, clamp it down. That takes it, slides it. That one cuts it, and that one splits it. Super easy, so it's a boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. Dumbing it down makes it nice and easy. Even though it's easy, you still get kind of confused every once in a while. The last time that I made one of these videos, somebody called me out and said, well, you're tying up two machines that could be out making some decent money. Well, these two are literally the old setup. They hardly ever go to a job. They're little jobs. This machine is a really outstanding skid steer, but running a mulcher head on it doesn't work that well. So this thing is just like commissioned to the house now and putting the Han on it, gave it a new purpose on life. And the little excavator, it's been an awesome little machine, but that thing, uh, got a bigger, newer model. And that one just sits here at the house. And all this wood right here, the job that we're on, our contract is to grind all this up. So this would have been mulch. It would have been this. It would have been nothing. So spent the day with the tree shear, loaded the trailer up, loaded Dad's truck up, and brought home three cords of wood to add to the collection. Burn at the house. Yeah. So yeah. Compared to just wasting the wood, not really wasting our time. It was an hour, and we got two cords of wood from something that we would have just ground up in the logwoods anyway. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, for anybody that was wanting to know more about the grapples on this one, the little Valby grapple. You saw my video the other day. We do make these um, quick disconnect plates here at the house now. And then this was Dad's first generation for the U-joint uh, thing. This is... Uh, Improvements have been made, but it still gets the job done. This one's just really, really prone to breaking hoses because of the way it's designed, if you're not careful. Oh, so there you guys go. It is now dark-ish. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one. Comment below what uh, firewood processor you guys are either have looked at or own. For some reason, this is my dad's favorite pastime is splitting and stack of firewood he really really enjoys this but it's kind of neat to see that he's bringing the tractors involved with it so it's not all 100 percent manual labor maybe a conveyor belt the double barrel wood splitter will be showing up here in april but let me know which ones you guys have ran or want to run maybe we can talk to them and get a chance to make a video with them boys we'll catch you guys on the next one though like comment and subscribe see you